I wonder if some of my fears are unwarranted. I wonder if I've let different types of fear-mongering media make me scared of Seattle. Like the Seattle is Dying documentary from Como News from 2019. Recently, I've been watching a lot of assorted YouTube videos of people walking in Seattle at night. Places like Capitol Hill, Pioneer Square, and the U District. Again, at night, alone. Not after the bars close at 2 a.m., but still earlier in the night. And yes, there have been acts of violence and other crime that have happened at these locations. But that's happened at shopping malls as well. Should I be scared of going to shopping malls too? And I understand that there are different levels of danger depending on the place as well. There's the frequency of criminal acts happening in any one given place, sure. But I think about the fact that before the pandemic, and before all the rioting and the Chaz Chop garbage, I had walked around Capitol Hill countless times and never had any issues, other than there's some uh, some person cranked out on drugs, you know, walking around in some weird way, but were they a threat to me? And people said it was dangerous back then. I don't see any issues in these videos I've been watching that were recorded earlier this year. I see people eating in outdoor areas of restaurants. I see assorted, diverse people walking around, or at least it's visually diverse anyway. I see crazy, drugged-out people as well, but they don't appear to be any sort of actual threat. But how would they react to someone walking near them with a decent-looking camera? I think what made me the most scared of going out in the evening, you know, with my camera, to places where there are very undefined people residing at them, yeah, what made me the most scared was that horrible scenario I went through at Blueberry Park, you know, last year, where I had went off the main trail and was walking on some much smaller trails in the evening as it was starting to turn dark, and I saw something weird up ahead. It kind of reminded me of the gimp scenario in Pulp Fiction. And then a menacing guy jumps out of the bushes and tells me to delete all of that stuff off my camera or I'll be shot. And they paid attention to what my vehicle looked like as they, they were following me. And they probably got the license number. And then a couple days later, they bashed my side window out in my van. They weren't kidding around. But it made me scared. Scared of people who there's no way of being able to tell whether they're up to no good or not. Particularly people who are either homeless or are posing as homeless. If I'm to be honest, it made me a little bit weary of all homeless people. And that's not good. That's, that's not good at all. So if a homeless person in Seattle, or someone posing as being homeless, or someone doing an open-air hard drug deal, if people like that see me recording them as I'm walking down the sidewalk, could one of them have a similar reaction to what I experienced at Blueberry Park? I honestly miss Seattle so much. Or at least the Seattle from before the pandemic. Or really, a little bit before then. I mean, because that uh, Seattle is Dying documentary came out in 2019. So, I'd say I miss the Seattle from 2010, or even more so from the late 90s. But we'll never get that back again. But does that mean I should be scared of Seattle? Just like in any city, there are obviously places that are extremely seedy that I should stay away from in Seattle. But should that include places that are popular and are like tourist areas? I don't know the answer to that. I just know that I miss what Seattle was and hope that there's still a glimmer of it left today. Have a joy, joy day.